What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I know you guys missed the car, man. We've been waiting on some parts, waiting on components. Tune, we just got the car too, but now we're at the alignment shop, you guys. We got to get this thing dialed in. And my boy Mike over here, he thinks he might be able to get the alignment right to where the tires are not rubbing. So that's the biggest thing today. So hopefully he can get us hooked up. We're going to walk in. He just pulled the car up. We're going to see. We're going to talk to him a little bit about what's involved, what the process is, and how to go about it. What up, Mike? What up? What up, dog? Goose, how we doing today, bro? What up, man? So you want to tell these nice people what we're doing today? All right, we're going to get this 1970 Chevelle all aligned. Fix some pinion angle, make sure caster camber and toe is all set. And get this thing driving so you can fall asleep driving it, all right? I like that, I like that. So, Mike, obviously we're having clearance issues, man. Because you can see, man, these things are monster, 24-inch wheels. You think there's something that we can do with the alignment that maybe might help us, obviously, not rub or as much or whatever you think there definitely is always an option with alignment to get your vehicle to not rub as far as adjusting toe and camber also getting caster forward and back depending on where the inclination of the upper ball joint is and where the caster is set on the tr on the car with the aftermarket suspension okay um, always keep in mind with aftermarket suspension your numbers will never go back to the oem specs as far as one degree caster is minimal or negative caster with it having ride tech or QA ones or any type of aftermarket suspension, it will be completely different from your OEM specifications. Absolutely. As long as you know how to get the car to drive straight and put the numbers in specs, it doesn't matter where your numbers are per se. Okay? I like that. I like that. I know I go to a lot of different alignment shops, at least in the past, and they're like, well, we can only align your car to spec, to like factory 70 specs. Like, Not man. I'll, 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 I'll align this car to a Honda Civic. No yeah. joking, but seriously. Yeah. As long as you know how to get a car to drive dead straight and you know how much caster to put in it for the crown of the road, et cetera, you can get any vehicle to drive dead straight. I, I can align it under razor specs and it'll align the exact same way. Right on, right on. Well, we'll let you get set up and then we'll come right back, man. Copy that. Yes, sir. What are we looking at, Mike? All right, so, big wheel Chevelle. You're gonna have some type of negative camber no matter what you do, okay? Big thing I noticed is that the caster on the driver's side is in specs, caster on the passenger side is not in specs. You have a degree split. Now, with the crown of the road, this vehicle should wanna pull to the right aggressively, following the crown of the road. That's how it naturally works. Yeah. Any vehicle, you want your caster higher on the right side in the United States by a half degree, to one degree to compensate for the crown of the road. If you have too much of a caster split, your vehicle will pull left. That's how you know you had too much caster. Not enough caster, it will pull right. There's variables in that too. You could have tire pressure situations. You could have different tread patterns, two different tires. People don't keep that in mind. <laughs> I have seen I that. Mean, it happens all the time. You just got to slap a tire on there. Now your car pulls, you think you need an alignment. Yeah. Put a good matching set on it and all your problems go away. Okay? So this is what we ended up with you guys. Obviously, every car is gonna be different. Obviously, suspension is a big one. Um, with this, obviously, we're running speed tech suspension and not to mention coilovers. So the front, we ended up with on the left side, 2.13 initially. And then we have a 0.96 on the right side. Camber, negative 109 on the left. And then the right, we got negative 1.24. And then toe, we have uh, not even one, 13 30 seconds. Um, right side, not, negative 9 30 seconds with one eighth total. Uh, rear, we're not really going to get into because we really didn't do much in the rear. There's not much we can do there. Obviously, you can't really adjust too much in the rear. But Mike's giving it a quick spin. Where you at, big dog? Yeah, bro, I think you need one of these, dog. Yeah, well, everybody in their does. Everybody <laughs> in their life needs a Chevelle at one point in time, right? Yeah, hell yeah. So tell me, what are you thinking? How's it feel? Um, after the alignment, we went over the initial alignment where everything was out of whack. Um, 
pinion angle is beautiful i did not feel any vibration i did not get it up to highway speeds or anything like that due to rules and regulations so um, the drivability it drives absolutely amazing i did have to take the vehicle and give it some more negative camber than i would like for it to get to get the vehicle to not rub with the big 24s on it um, so what we did was we gave both the wheels some negative camber and took caster away from both the vehicles to get the upper ball joint in front of the lower ball joint not to have it behind the lower ball joint adding caster um, sometimes you have to take them outside the specs to get it to drive straight and clearance issues etc um, turning radius is beautiful i don't feel any rubbing there um, one thing that does concern me is having to make the vehicle more negative camber than what the factory calls for with having more negative camber it will be more tight and more responsive that's how they set up road course cars etc um, more negative uh, more negative camber you have the more tight and responsive and cornering it's going to be i doubt it's going to be a track car it's probably just <laughs> nah, a nah, driver, definitely so, we're definitely not um, tracking this thing with right. these wheels you know but uh yeah other but, than that man the alignment came out beautiful everything adjusted just fine as far as pinion angle and getting the front set up um yeah man right on have beautiful it, beautiful mike once again man tell them where they can find you guys at it fab and off-road las vegas nevada 3140 polaris avenue Give us you guys call, heard guys. it you guys heard it there yeah yeah buddy we got to test drive this thing guys put a little bit of miles on this so we still got a few hiccups we got to work on but you guys already know we are going to get out of here man we're going to let this man do his thing and hit the road mike it was a pleasure man it's appreciate a pleasure, you boys. right there you guys wrecked it and fab and off-road don't forget it so guys do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications you guys already know stay wrenching